Hello fans of Final Fantasy XV, Comrades, the multiplayer expansion. Today we are going to look at the shields in it and exactly how good every one of the shields are. So here's the list of every shield in the game at level 1 and what we're going to do is level them up to 120. If you notice in the bottom right corner you'll see the stats for the kite shield and its attack right now is level 40. Well that's going to change once we level it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to meet the requirements required to um, upgrade it. Which right now is vitality and spirit. It is down level 25. You can see the attack power raise, rises whenever you level it up. So let's see what it changes into. It turns into the power shield. And there's got to be a better ingredient than what I'm using. Uh, this will work for me. Um, let's just go ahead and just push as much of it in. Notice that there is one free slot in this and uh, I'm using it right now and it's going to add sidestep but you can uh, upgrade them any way you want. This is pretty much just to determine for you which attack power is the best. Um, it turns into the Black Prince and can no longer be upgraded any further so we put it up to level 120 max for using meteorites. So we're going to sit here and we're going to level it up all the way to 120 and its attack power turns to 122 which isn't that bad actually so it has charge strike savage swipe on it. The next thing we're going to do is go for the power shield and we're going to level this up wisely. Right, it's going to take multiple Rate, uh, stuff to ri rise it up. Um, right here. So we'll arc the legs, take all of them. Let's just go ahead and just upgrade it a little bit. Let's put some magic on it since it's been lagging. And now it turns back into a Black Prince, which is 191. But with the meteorite thing that they've added, you can have every weapon to 120. Now we're just going to level it up all the way. And just like the other one, it has an attack of 222. So there's two Black Princes. And they both have the same um, Savage Swipe, which charge attacks change into critical strikes that cost MP. The Hero Shield now has a Cure of Spell Cure on it, and we are going to level it up. But the thing about it is, it's already at its max level. So it's going to take quite a bit of Meteor Shards to level this up to 120. It's going to take 7 of them. So we're going to level that up, then we're going to grab some gemstones, we're going to add it up, and it has 108 attack power to it, so it's actually weaker than its predecessors. This one has Cure of Spell Asuna, and it has Cure of Spell Cura on it, but that can change once we level it up. What we're going to do is we're going to add a magic gemstone to it. And then we're going to add some spirit gemstones to it. Which turns into the holy shield. It has cure to spell Asuna and cure to spell Kuriga on it. Which those two stack. So every time you cure people, you'll cure their negative status as well. This makes for a very good healing class character. So we're going to level it up to 120. 
find anything and see exactly how far the attack power goes. It goes to 185. So now we have the Mithril Shield, which is actually a crowd favorite. I won't spoil it, but a lot of people like this shield. So we got a Frost. We level up the requirements needed. Probably be 20, 25. Alright, so next thing we need is Dark Element, or no, we need Lightning Element. Alright, now that we've met the requirements, it's time to bulk some items on it. And the next thing we need to do is add Spirit to it. So it will be remodeled from the elemental shield to the wizard shield. And now that it's at level 99, we can upgrade it to 120. And it has barrier saver X on it, which reduces MB cost of projecting a barrier by 50%. So once we do that, we will be ready to see his final attack power. Not is 238 so right now that's the highest we've got on shields but there are many more we got the rusted plate which takes quite a bit to level up so fingers crossed um, the next thing we're going to do is add a fatality or Gemstone or two. Let's go ahead and add more than what's needed. Alright, it turns into Bloody Shield, which has the immune ability, prevents all status alignments, and that's very important. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some more Dragon Horns. And it will be ready to be leveled up again. Put some strengths in there and now the negative HP just turned into positive so I don't know if Sentinel X is permanent but those are looking like that's the um, permanent perks you can have so it's a very good defensive shield So we level it up to 120, and it has an attack power of 244. Um, Sentinel X grants a 30% chance of neglecting all damage from enemy attacks, and immune prevents all status alignments. So now we have the Ice Shield, which cannot be leveled up into different ver versions of it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to level it up to 120 and see exactly how good it is. Alright, the ice shield I feel is a little weak. Um, I'm going to have to try and redo this because I feel like I've done something wrong. So let's go back to Ice Shield. You find anything good out there? It really... Sh it looks like it has a locked ability, but... Really... It doesn't, doesn't state that there is. So the ice shield just defends against ice a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and add some spirit to it. You would think that it would have Bazerga or something on it. Oh, am I going to have enough shards? 
as well. So it has a locked ability that can't be unlocked, and it has an attack of 151. So, so far, the Aegis Shield is the best for attack. The next thing we got is the Storm Shield. And I'm pretty certain that the same locked abilities apply here. There is none. Um, so we're just gonna boost it up as powerful as it can get on one basic stat. And like the Ice Shield, it has an attack power 151. So take it that this weapon is the same. We're gonna level it up to 120. And we're gonna use some fire gemstones. If I level it up to over 100, uh, all that gave was flame bound from the gemstone itself, so doesn't really help. 151. Which is the same. So now we're into the anti-venom shield. Which it can't be leveled up past its current max level. It has poison proof on it. You know, boost it up with some vitality. And it has a free slot with 180 HP added to it. So, poison proof will stop you from getting poisoned. Stop proof again. The shields can be leveled up to 120 right away. There's no use in um, putting them up higher. The Inner Tia Shield has an attack of 170. Then we have the Anti Stone. Again, cannot be leveled up. Put it up to 120. It has Stone Proof, which prevents you from being petrified. We'll boost it up with some strength. It doesn't affect attack, though. Attack is its own stat based on your level. So it has 170 there too. Now we have a shield that cannot be leveled up again. And it is with confuse proof. So we're going to use some meteorites on it. And then we're going to level it up accordingly. It has an attack power of 77. So now we're in the Immortal Ages, which already has an attack power of 123. So we're going to level it up to 120, which Ruby Shield is going to be the same way. Um. With the Immortal Aegis, you can have actually quite a bit of MP. You can have well over 2,000 extra MP. Or, I mean, HP. Excuse me. Alright, so there's a lot of Meteor Shards that go with this. Um, without breaking some of them, I won't have the Meteor Shards this necessary to level this one all the way up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a black prince because they were both the same so the black prince wasn't the best so we're just going to go and dismantle them for the meteor shards that we need I'm going to go to Ruby Shield, level it up to 120. It has Death Ward on it. 
find anything good out there? And it has a attack power of 277. So the Death Ward increases resilience of barriers projected when in danger. So whenever you use a barrier and you get hit, it's going to reduce um, the amount of MP it takes. So as you see, Aegis Shield looks like it's the best one for it. It's got the highest attack power of all the shields. Um, well, actually, no, the Ruby Shield has the best. Um, Ruby Shield has an attack power of 277, where Aegis Shield has 244. Death Ward is good, but Aegis Shield is Sentinel X which would neglect all damage from enemy attacks 30% of the time um, and immune which prevents all status alignments but the winner is death ward ruby shield ruby shield is the best shield in the game um, but it is your choice of which shield you use which shield you like and this is a guide just to show you the basic attack power of every one of them so with all of that being said you can make your choice in this video what shield you want to level up and which one you think is your um, most time-consuming one to put into I mean you want to find out which shields are the best before you put the time in so whichever shield you like on this list Go ahead, look it up how to get it, and build it to your liking. You don't have to use the same material. Anyways, I hope that this guide helped you, and be sure to tune in because I will be making other guides in the future. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.